Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to focus on uh, the chapter on earthquakes and we're going to look at some of the keywords you need to know for this chapter on earthquakes. Okay so we're going to look at some of the, the keywords you need to know for um, this chapter on earthquakes and the very first one is earthquake itself. So what is an earthquake? An earthquake is, su is a sudden movement um, or shaking of the earth's crust. Okay so it's when usually when two plates uh, collide or rub them past each other and then there's like a sudden movement when the friction like builds up and is released um, and this causes like the, the shaking or the ground to actually to, to move and this is what is known as an earthquake. The fault line is where the two plates are actually uh, sliding past each other or in collision with each other. So in this diagram here the fault line would just be this line here so it's after the pressure and the stress like builds up when the rocks actually slip uh, we call this line uh, the fault line. The next is the seismic waves, and these are the seismic waves which you can see here. And the, these seismic, or sometimes known as shock waves, uh, travel out from the focus. Okay, so start from the focus and they travel out. So if you can imagine, like almost like uh, the focus is the point where the earthquakes at. It's, it's it's like strongest in the in the in in, in the crust, and the epicenter is the strongest point on the surface. And if you imagine like dropping like when you drop like a like a like a stone into a pond, it sends out these like waves all like radiate together, and these are what was known as this as the seismic waves. The next one is the focus, and the focus is um the place where the earthquake actually starts, and it's below the Earth's surface, so it's within like the crust. The next one is the epicenter, and the epicenter is uh of the earthquake is, is the point on the surface directly above the focus, and the epicenter is where the tremors first reach. Uh, the surface and where the earthquake is most uh, is the strongest. So one thing to know is that the strength of these like seismic waves is measured by an instrument called the uh, the seismograph, and the seismograph basically just detects and records and uh, measures earthquakes, and they usually do this on then on the Richter scale. Um, one thing to note: the person who actually studies earthquakes, um, or the study of earthquakes, is called uh, seismology. So seismology is a study of earthquakes. The Richter scale, this is uh, a way to actually measure earthquakes. So with the Richter scale, it determines um, the magnitude um, of the seismic waves. And it's done in, uh, each unit increases on the scale. Means that it's it's uh, the seismic waves are ten times uh, as large. Okay, so for example, if it was like seven on the Richter scale, and the seismic waves uh, were ten times larger than the earthquake that suffered six on the Richter scale. So it's really important to know. So if it's seven on the Richter scale, and another earthquake is eight on the Richter scale, well that means that it's ten times stronger. The next one is the Macaulay scale, and the Macaulay, and the Macaulay scale is the same as the Richter scale, it measures like the intensity of earthquakes, but it's done by description, so basically people um, in the area have to, uh, they have to basically rate um, the amount of destruction by, like, through observations. So it's another way to measure the intensity, but it's all done through observations on how much damage uh, is observed and um, is actually done. The next one is P waves, so P waves are primary waves. So these P waves are the first uh, waves to arrive and they travel uh, through both solid and molten materials of the Earth's uh, interior and cause rocks to vibrate back and forth in the direction of uh, the wave motion. S waves are sometimes known as secondary waves. So they move at about half the speed of the P waves and they move only through solid rock. The rock vibrates at right right angles to the direction of the, the wave motion, so that will cause some uh, destruction because they move at right angles. And the last one is surface waves, and some of them are known as L waves or long waves, and these affect uh, the surface or just below it, and they're the slowest of, 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 of all the three uh, types of waves, the P waves, S waves. The surface waves are the slowest and the ones that cause most destruction. And the last key word that we're going to look at is the isoseismal uh, lines. And isoseismal lines are lines of equal intensity. What they do is they show like the decrease of intensity away from the epicenter. So the isoseismal lines uh, are of the greater intensity, the closer they are to uh, the epicenter. And the further they go away, the they, they decrease in intensity. And they just basically show like lines of equal intensity. 
So that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, we looked at the keywords for earthquakes. If you enjoyed it, please leave me some feedback. Follow us on Instagram, uh, Facebook and Twitter uh, at examvision for you And you can get lots more videos on our website, examvision.ie. Thanks, guys. <laughs>